Welcome back. Now, one thing you're going to see specifically associated with the audience you have created is a feature called Inbox. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to click Inbox. And basically, this is a way of managing the replies that you may get to the messages that you're going to be sending within your audience. Inbox will tell you when someone is available to you online. And it is a way of replying and consolidating all of your replies. And the conversation is not one way. You can also initiate a conversation within Inbox with a specific person in your contacts. So what you want to do here is take a look at your Inbox settings. You want to determine which name you're going to reply from. What you can also do is you can make it so that this address will handle replies from all of your campaigns within your account. You can make it so that you are notified within your browser. And if you want other users to be notified when you get a reply, you can indicate that here. Once you've done this, you can then click Save. So what we can do here is click Compose New Message. And we can then determine who we want to send a message to. You are using MailChimp, so you can add in an opt-out message. You can then click Send Message. That individual will then see an email in their box. They can then reply directly. And we're going to click Send. Now you will see that response in your inbox inside of MailChimp. However, that will not be instantaneous. As you can see, the gap in time between messages is about six to seven minutes. Once your inbox is set up, you can then set up a contact form from within your audience tools. So if you come back to this page and you go to your contact form and click select, what you can do is you can create a different form, which is a contact us form. You can customize the form. For example, you can set an image here. You can change the wording in any of these fields and you can customize any of the other information. Once you've completed this, you can then click next. What you can do then is then click next. You can then create a custom tag and you'll then add that custom tag, use the tag and click save tags. Then when the individual fills in your contact us form, what will happen is they'll be tagged with a specific designation that you set up. You then have your form URL. What you'll then do is you'll then publish that form and you can then use this URL now to serve as your contact form any place where you want to collect information from an individual that wants to get in contact with you. We can then test our form We'll then click Submit. And you'll then see the name and your contact information of the individual that used your contact form. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.